Hi, my name is Tara Robles, and I'm a member here at Patuxent Baptist Church, and I'd just like to share a little bit of my testimony with you. I was blessed enough to be born into a Christian home with godly parents and godly grandparents, and, pro and I believe godly great-grandparents. My grandfather is actually a pastor, and on the other side of my family, my great-grandfather is a pastor, so there was no doubt that the Bible was definitely in our home. I remember always growing up, hearing the Word of God, being made to go to church. It was never a choice, never an option. And of course, I went willingly every time. So I was told, yes, you were saved when you were younger. I remember it so vividly. You were on the porch and you prayed and you asked Jesus to come into your heart. And I just kept thinking in my head, oh, that's great, so I'm saved. But around when I was seven or eight, it really hit me. I really am not saved. I was at one of my family members' houses and we were watching A Thief in the Night. And I remember thinking, oh my goodness, I would be one of, one of those people that are left behind. I would be riding in a car with no driver. And when my parents got back from wherever they were, I remember going to my dad and telling him, Dad, I am not saved. And I remember them saying, are you sure? I remember that you got saved when you were younger. And of course, they weren't trying to make me be saved. They were just reminding me, you know, do you remember that? And I told them, I, I have no recollection of that. So right there in the same house, we prayed and I asked Jesus to come into my heart and to save me and take me to heaven. And I'm so blessed that they didn't just try to talk me into it, that yes, you were saved and yes, I remember it. So I do have that assurance that on that day, I accepted Jesus to come into my heart and to save me. And I'm blessed that I have now married a man that was also raised in a Christian home, and his grandfather is also a, was also a pastor. So our children have a very godly heritage, and we hope to pass that on generation through generation. And this is my story.